Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? I am feeling the weight of expectations from you, our community, because Evernote has released a new version of Evernote for iOS. They're calling it iOS 8, and it falls to me to show it to you today on Dotto Tech. Evernote has done a complete rebuild and a refresh of their iOS application. So that's for iPads and iPhones from the ground up. This is a complete rebuild, looks completely different and acts differently than Evernote ever has in mobile before. Now, as soon as you open Evernote on your iOS device, you're gonna see the changes. Where the home screen used to take you to a home screen, which basically allowed you to navigate your way to notes or other areas within Evernote, I guess it's taken them a few versions to figure out that the reason we use Evernote on our smartphone is to get to our notes. So now it opens on our notes and they've done a really nice job of reformatting the preview of the notes to give us more information and I think a lot more appealing information. See what they're doing is now they're incorporating up to three graphics in the thumbnail view of the notes that we get for each of our notes. So as you scroll through your notes, it's a much more appealing and I think, uh, I think versatile way of searching because you're gonna see what you're looking for much more quickly because you have more visual identifiers in the notes. So just on, on the surface, just on the visual appeal of the app application, they've taken a huge leap forward. I mean, when you consider kind of the clunky interface that they used to have, this is pretty darn nice. Now, navigating our way through Evernote is now accomplished through something they call the tap bar, which is this bar across the bottom, which gives us access to the main areas within Evernote. So we've got a, a, a way to jump back to the notes. If we're out of the notes area, we've got a way to jump quickly into search. And of course, Evernote is very powerful in search. Uh, the plus button in the middle is a multifunction button. If I just tap on it once, it starts a new note and creates a brand new note for me from scratch. If I don't do that, if I instead tap on it and hold on it, watch what happens. Let me go back to notes so we see that. There we go. If I tap and hold on it, it then brings up a selector that allows me to select between a audio note, a photo, or a reminder. So different styles of notes are all created from this one button. Now. I use Evernote as kind of on the mobile device as a vacuum cleaner, pulling tons of information into, into my Evernote account. So I use the camera a lot. Now they've upgraded and kind of modified the camera functionality now. So what happens now, let me, let's just do it. Let's take a photo and what we'll do is we'll take a photo of this business card because we'll often use it for capturing that sort of information. But you don't worry when you first capture a photo what the photo is of. You just take a picture and as soon as it processes the picture, you can tap on the picture and now look, we can now determine how we want that picture to be treated, what type of data we want that picture to be, a photo, a document, a color document, a post-it note, or a business card. So let's just tap on business card because we can see a whole bunch of magic happen then. And it then takes that image, parses out all of the information, looks for the database fields that that information should go to, and it will populate this into our contact manager or tie it right through to LinkedIn if we have it set up that way. So this is a really nice slick interface. You don't have to decide before you take a picture exactly how you're going to use it. Instead, you take the picture first and then you can determine exactly how you want that data managed within your Evernote account. I think that's really slick. The next button over gets us to our shortcuts, which we use for organizing and structuring our Evernote account. And then finally, into the Evernote account settings themselves. And, and here is where you go into your settings to manage how Evernote works for you. I mean, especially we can go in here and manage how it, how it deals with post-it notes, business cards, that sort of stuff, dealing with the camera. So you've got all of your functionality, all of the, your settings in, surprisingly enough, the account settings area. But let's go back into the note area and I want to show you a couple of other things that uh, they've modified within it. One is they've changed how much we can format the notes. So whereas in the past you didn't have very many uh, mobile formatting options, you could basically create basic text notes, you could format a lot more in the desktop version, but now you've got the ability to actually select any text within your notes be able to highlight that text and by tapping on the text formatting tool here you can make it larger you can make it smaller you can color the text to make different things stand out and to make again your notes that much more appealing and that much more useful because you can parse information out as you're looking at it much more quickly and effectively by setting formatting 
Additionally, you now have the ability, to, as you have with many uh, mobile apps, to be able to swipe across a note in order to manage where that note is going to be. So you can star it, you can turn it into a reminder, or you can delete a note just with a quick swipe of your finger. That's very standard in the mobile universe, and it's nice to see it brought to Evernote here as well. Finally, if you need to get to a little more granular control over your network, because we're here uh, of your notebook, because you're here in seeing the main view is the notes view, they need to create a way for us to kind of get into the infrastructure of Evernote. And that's done by tapping on the all notes button at the very top. And that brings you up into the structure of our Evernote where you can see all of your notebooks. So you can navigate through in a kind of in a more traditional method where you can actually go in to where your notes happen to be stored. All in all, a complete refresh, I think it's a breath of fresh air for Evernote. When you use this version of Evernote and then you go back to the old version, which is still unfortunately say running in Android, and I know the people in Android are saying, doesn't Evernote love us? They do it always first for iOS. I think you got a point. Uh, they seem to be showing a little more love for iOS, but hopefully when they release the version for Android, whenever it comes, there's a few extra bells and whistles because they tend to leapfrog. So feel bad for a little bit of time, a little bit of a pity party for the Android people, but ultimately I think you will benefit from the experiences that the iOS people are going to go through right now and any difficulties that might be found in this platform. Bottom line is I think they've done a terrific job of breathing new life into the iOS app and making it that much more functional. I hope you found our video today to be useful. Now, there's two favors that I need to ask of you. First, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Secondly, please subscribe to our newsletter. That way I can tell you about our upcoming events, tutorials, and trainings, which we do here on Dotto Tech. Till next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle. <laughs>